What's up guys, this is Josh from Cupid Techie and today I wanted to do a quick video showing you guys the DD command in Linux. As I stated in the intro of the video, I wanted to review how to use the DD command, also known as the disk destroyer. The Linux DD command is one of the most powerful utilities which can be used in a variety of ways. And this tool is mainly used for copying and converting data. That's why they call it the data duplicator. A few examples of how this tool can be used is basically backing up and restoring an entire hard drive or partition, as well as creating virtual file systems and backup images of CDs or DVDs called ISOs. And just so you know, the super user is the only person that can execute the command. So you have to have pseudo rights uh, when running this command because you're messing with disk images. So be very careful while using this command because you can cause huge data losses. Now that you have a base understanding of how the DD command works, let's go on and open up the terminal and show you guys how to actually use it. So let's get started. Okay, so today I'll be doing the demonstration in Manjaro Linux, which is an Orch based distribution. And the first thing I want to do is go down and show you the DD command. Uh, it's already installed by default on most systems. Uh, in this virtual machine, I also have an extra drive, which is where I'll be doing some of the demonstrations. So let me go down and open up the man page for DD right fast. Just give me one second. I'm gonna open up the terminal and that way you guys can see what the command is all about. So let me zoom in. Well, so let's go man, DD, press enter. Okay, so DD, convert and copy files. Uh, here's the synopsis. They have, you know, this is the ways you can run the command. So DD and then options. Here's the description, copy a file, converting and formatting according to operand. And I have these other options here, like uh, byte size. You can, you know, you could change that. The default is 512, but you could change that. Uh, and a few other options that you need in order to run a command. Like for instance, the if that is the, this is where you put the file or directory that you want to read from. And then the of is the place that you'll be writing the actual data to. And if we scroll down a little further, it has some other options here. So if you're interested in learning a little bit more about this command, you know, I would recommend you check out the man page for it. Uh, it has an explanation of a lot of the features that are included in this command. And let me go down and hit the Q to quit. And, and let's go down and show you guys how to run it. Okay, so the first way I want to show you this command is by backing up and restoring an entire disk or a partition. So I want to work you through that right fast. And it's pretty, it's a pretty simple command. Uh, I just want to go down and walk you guys through it so you guys can understand how to actually do it right fast. And the command is dd. And then we have to use the if option. So we type if and then equals and we can specify a actual this or device and let's actually back up because i want to go down and show you the actual disk so if we go ls block and press enter it'll show us all the devices and i created a 30 gigabyte hard drive or virtual hard drive just to just for this command so i want to go down and run uh sda1 to sdb1 I want to copy the full entire disk and I want to run it against SDA to SDB. So let's go down and run that right fast and see what happens. And this might take a while and I'm going to speed through it so you guys can, can just chill and watch some music and watch the actual application run through the full process. So let's type DD again and then let's type if and you want to put the equal sign and then forward, sl forward slash. And then we want to specify that device. The first one is the SDA device. So, and then the of is where you want to write it to, which is to that 30 gigabyte drive that we have. So 
what's gonna happen is gonna basically write the full disc one disc over to another disc and i don't care about destroying it it doesn't matter because this device is just a virtual hard drive so let's specify that other disc and that's sdd and also i want to go down and specify the block size so let's go bs this is another option you can use and it's specifying a block size. So I'm gonna use uh, 4096 as the block size. Okay, and then also I don't wanna, I wanted to skip uh, if there are any read errors. So you could put that option in here as well, but you have to put it under uh, conv and you could put no error. And this will continue if there are any read errors during the process. And you can also specify more than more than that by just separating by a comma. So if we type a comma, and also I wanna sync it. So let's put that in there. And this will just basically add a pad to, to every input block. So each block, it'll add a padding in there with, with null data. And this is beneficial when copying a drive. And that's pretty much all the flags that we wanna add. So let's go down and press enter and run through this. And I'll put on some music uh, while this thing runs. And it probably won't take that long, we'll see. So let's go down and run it. And also, I forgot to run this command as sudo, so I'm gonna just press that up arrow. Uh, and like I said, you have to be running this command as root or as a sudo user. So let's go down and press enter on that and type in our sudo password and let's go through the process and one thing about the dd command it doesn't give you any output by default so you have to specify that it gives you output and i'll show you how to add that to the command as well so let's just sit back and relax and let it go through the process and see what happens okay cool so we finished that first dd command and it i just wanted to show you guys the output uh as you can see you know, it states uh, 5242880 plus one. I mean, plus zero records in and the same records out. This is the size. Uh, so 21 gigabytes, uh, 20 gigabytes, all that's copied. And this was the time it took. So that's in seconds. And this is how fast it copied it as well. So 12.5 megabits per second. Okay, cool. So since the command ran successfully let's go on and check the drive i just want to show you guys uh by running a couple commands so if i run ls block first this will give us the blocks that we have and as you can see yes it's a 30 gigabyte drive uh and i don't know if you remember seeing it but uh before when i ran the command it was a 30 gigabyte partition as well and basically what it did was clone everything from sda to sdb and so everything was cloned directly here so let's go down and mount that drive right fast so we can go sudo uh, mount and then let's type in the device which is sdb1 and let's mount it to the mount uh directory so press enter and now let's let's uh ls block again just to show you that it's mounted uh, so as we can see that one port that first partition on the SDB is mounted to the mount directory. So let's go down there and run that LS on that mount directory just to see what's in it. So let's press enter. As you can see, it basically has everything from the SDA partition on this drive. So it's pretty much a clone of the operating system. So it's a good reason to use that command to clone a drive let's say your hard drive is going bad or whatever and you want to use that command to actually clone it to a new drive and then you can replace this drive with the old drive if it's going out you know for whatever reason and then pop it in this system and then you should be able to boot right up from there and just to show you I'm basically just run it on run ls on root just so you guys can see that's the exact clone so everything that's on that drive has been copied over to the other drive so that's a cool way of cloning the drive so now let's go down and clear this right fast and another thing you can do 
uh, with that using that same command uh, instead of copying it to another device you can actually copy it to a file you can create a ISO of the actual file so basically all you have to do is go in and change the device to a file name like this and I'm not gonna actually install it uh, I'm gonna just I'm not gonna actually run the command but I just wanted to show you guys you can let's say you want to clone a this whole device to another uh, drive that you have it's somewhat of a backup so let's say it's on that SDV uh, let's say it's on that mount directory since we already got it mounted and and let's go SDA BCK dot IMG and we can run that command right there and it'll save the SDA directory or basically clone it to a image file and that image file can be transferred to another device or uh, you can actually extract that to another device let's say you only have two drives but you're trying to clone it to another drive um, because you don't have space to to put the image file anywhere else so you can extract it put it on the other drive and then just copy it over to the other drive or or clone it to the new drive uh, once you bring it up let's say you use a live USB you can mount the drives that you have the image file on and just simply clone the image to the new drive once you have it installed in the system so that's an example of actually using it and so the way you you do that once you create the image file is basically by specifying a new device so let's say the new device is s uh, dev and let's say it's sdc on a live usb and then you just go over here and then specify that that actual image file so go sda and then you know the image file whatever we named that image file uh so dot img and that'll take that image file and clone it to the new device that you have installed in the system so i'm not going to run it because that's going to take a while uh, and plus I don't even have the image file, but that's how you actually do it uh, If you want to create a image file and so I'm not gonna go that deep into this actual file Into this actual command. There's a lot more features you can do with this command like for instance You can wipe a drive uh, You could write like zeros to the actual full device, you know, and that'll just clear out any data that's on the drive and overwrite it with like zeros or you can specify random data as well that it'll write to the device to kind of just get rid of all the remnants of old data that may be stuck on the drive but the dd command is like super important to understand because most people use it i use it a lot of times when i'm actually creating live usbs which is typically the thing that I do all the time especially when I'm trying out new operating systems especially Linux ones I use the DD command to actually write the ISOs to create a live USB so I hope you guys enjoyed the video if you got any questions please leave comments down in the comment boxes below please like share and subscribe to the channel and of course keep it techie